up, Owl fans? Welcome back to the Blue Wave Sports Show. I'm Le'Andre Fox, and this is the Owl TV Fall Sports Preview. Summer is over, and that means the Owl athletes are back getting prepared for their season. Actually, the men's and women's soccer teams and the women's volleyball team have already began their season. Let's start with the men's soccer team. They endured a rough season last year, finishing with an overall record of 2-14. and 14. It wasn't all bad, though. Their two wins were in conference against the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Marshall Thundering Herd, and the win against Marshall was the final game of the season, meaning the Owls went into this year on a one-game winning streak. The Owls began their season with losses to UNLV and Utah Valley. However, they are looking to turn their season around at home against the St. Thomas Bobcats on September 1st. With a record of 11-8-2, the women's soccer team has a lot to look forward to. The Lady Owls made it to the Conference USA Tournament before losing to North Texas in the semifinal round. The team adds new assistant coach Cameron Furtenbaugh. Furtenbaugh was on the staff of the Big Ten champion Penn State squad. That Nittany Lions team also advanced all the way to the NCAA quarterfinal round before falling to eventual champions, the Stanford Cardinal. The Lady Owls currently sit at 1-3, and, and they play Murray State on Friday, August 31st. With a record of 18-9 last year, the volleyball team was able to make it to the Conference USA Tournament. Their championship aspirations came to a halt as the Owls lost to UTSA in the quarterfinals. This year, the Owls are led by their three preseason all-conference stars, Kamei Sigourney, Abby Reed, and Yvonne Martinez. There's potential for a huge year as the Owls look to make the Conference USA Tournament for a sixth year in a row. They sit at 0-3 going into the FAU Invitational on August 31st, but they look to turn things around as the season progresses. The Owls men's and women's cross country teams begin the 2018 season with the 5th annual FAU Cross Country Invitational on August 31st at South County Regional Park. The women have won this meet for the last four years and on the men's side they return the entire roster. Both teams look to continue to improve on a solid 2017 season. Finally, we'll end this preview with arguably the most exciting team in the nation. That's right folks, we're talking about the Owls football team. If you take a drive on I-95, you may spot a sign that reads Heisman in Paradise. That's the attitude FAU has going into the season. Coming off of an 11-3 record and a Boca Raton Bowl win, the Owls return star running back Devin Motor Singletary, and they look to build on the momentum that they gathered last season. Singletary isn't the only Owl gaining national recognition, though. Aziz Alshair, Harrison Bryant, Gerald Hearns, Shelton Lewis, and Jalen Young have all been announced on preseason watch lists. Of course, the biggest star on the team is none other than head coach Lane Kiffin, who signed a contract to lead the Owls for the next 10 years this offseason. Now, not everything is set in stone for the upcoming season. The quarterback battle between redshirt freshman Chris Robinson and redshirt junior DeAndre Johnson continues with the Owls' first game approaching. Graduate transfer Rafe Peavy has also been thrown into the mix leading to Coach Kiffin suggesting that all three will take snaps in the season opener. The Owls travel to Norman to take on the Oklahoma Sooners on September 1st. That's it for this show. Remember to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at FAU Owl TV and subscribe to us on YouTube at FAU Owl TV.